the BT Dakar 2600, the first hardwood foam with hard blacker technology. Welcome to this video on the BT Dakar 2600. The BT Dakar 2600 is the latest foam from BT to feature their hull blocking technology, based on true hull technology. When an unknown hull holds your phone, they will be asked for their name before the hull is put through to you. You will then have the option of either accepting or rejecting the hull or sending it to the answer machine. Hullers in your contact list will automatically be put through. The Dakar 2600 is the first hardwood foam from BT to feature hull blocking. The foam is designed to sit on a desk and not be well mounted, and you'll also need to locate it near a power socket. The main features of the foam are that it is able to block up to 1000 numbers. It features an integrated answer machine capable of storing up to 30 minutes of messages. The address book can store up to 200 contacts. It has a hands-free option and is hearing aid compatible. So when you first plug in the Dekhar 2600, the first thing we have to do is set it up. So to do that, all I have to do is press OK. And then I enter the time, which is 1432. And then press next. And then I enter the date, which is 1704216. And then press save. And the next thing it asks me to do is if I want to turn on BT Hall Guardian. So yes, I do. So I press yes. And then it asks me to add some contacts. So, to add a contact, all I have to do is press the yes button and then type in the name of my contact. So, if I put in office, and then press next. And then I type in the number. And then press save. And it asks me if I want to allow or block this number. So I want to allow it. So I press allow. And I don't want to add any more, so I just press no. And that's it. The phone is now ready to use. So now let's have a look around the phone itself. At the top we have the display. The display isn't backlit, which does make it quite hard to read in low light conditions. You can adjust the contrast of the display to make the characters stand out more. However, this is the only adjustment that you can actually make to the display. Under the display are the buttons for the answer machine and the context buttons for accessing the menu system. Next we have the phone book button. The phone book can store up to 200 contacts and one of the advantages of this nice big display is that you can actually fit in quite long names and it also displays the phone number at the same time. You can also search the phone book by pressing the number which corresponds to the first letter of the person's name. There is however no speed dial so there's no way of simply just pressing the number 2 and it automatically dialing the number. So if that's a feature that's important to you then this phone doesn't have it. Next we have the keypad itself. The keypad although it's not a um, big button keypad the numbers are nice and clear and the keys themselves are quite tactile. As I dial a number, the number appears on the screen in nice big characters. Um, if I make a mistake, I can simply press the clear button to delete the last character 
and when I'm ready to make the call, all I have to do is pick up the handset and the phone will start dialing. We also have the R button which works with certain switchboards and also certain telephone network features and we can also access a list of previous calls made and received using the call list. So when the phone is idle like it is now we can use this button to access and turn on and off call guardian or access the different options. Alternatively you can press the block button either during a call or when the phone is ringing to block that particular phone number. Down here at the bottom we have the mute button allowing you to talk to somebody in the room without the caller hearing you. The volume button which lets you adjust the ringer volume, the hands-free volume and the receiver volume and we have the hands-free button. So the whole Iardium feature is based on true whole technology and it basically has three different modes. So we have announce. Uh, in this mode the unknown callers are asked for their name before the call is put through to you. You can then choose to either accept, block or send the call to the answer machine. We also have answer phone. In this case unknown callers are diverted straight to the answer machine. Alternatively, you can also switch Holt Guardian off and in that mode it will allow all calls to get through to you, even if they're on your block call list. It would be nice to have the option of only blocking calls that are on the block call list and allowing all other calls through and this would make the phone suitable for use in an office environment. So now let's see what happens when we receive a call from an unknown caller. Calls to this number are being screened by BT Call Guardian. Please say your name after the tone, then press hash and wait to be connected. Anthony Horner. You have a call from Anthony Horner. To accept this call, press 1. To always accept their calls, press 2. To block their calls, press 3. To send this call to the answer phone, press 4. So to listen to these options again, press star. So I'm going to send this call to the answer machine. Hello. Your call can't be taken at the moment, sir. Please leave your message after the tone. So now let's see what happens when I receive a call from somebody that I don't want to speak to. Calls to this number are being screened by BT Call Guardian. Please say your name after the tone, then press hash and wait to be connected. Have you had an accident in the last three years that was not your fault? You have a call from... Have you had an accident in the last three years that was not your fault? To accept this call, press 1. To always accept their calls, press 2. To block their calls, press 3. To send this call to the person you're calling isn't accepting your call, please hang up. And now finally, if our nuisance caller rings back, this is what they will hear. Calls to this number are being screened by BT Call Guardian. The person you're calling isn't accepting your call, please hang up. One of the nice features about this phone is that I don't actually have to answer the call before I block it. So if I recognise the number as being from somebody that I don't want to speak to, I can simply press the block button and it will block them straight away. If I've made a mistake and realised I've just blocked somebody that actually I want to allow through, I can press the point at calls 
and then I can press options, click on allow number and then press OK and then I can say yes. So now when that number rings again, the phone will just ring as normal. So let's have a look at some of the options that we can set for BT Hot Guardian. So to access BT Hot Guardian, all I have to do is press the block button, and that gives me access to the, the menu system. So from here, I can turn Hot Guardian on and off. I can also change the mode. I can also personalize the announce message. So rather than just having the generic BT message, I can add my name to it uh, so people ringing do realize they have actually got the right number. I can also manage my block numbers. So I can add a number that I want to block. Alternatively, I can block entire area codes. So if I'm constantly getting nuisance calls from a particular area, or a particular country, then I can use this feature to block all holes from that from that area. That's a feature to be used with a bit of caution because you may get legitimate holes from that area as well. So you really need to sort of exercise a bit of caution before you do that. You can also delete all of the numbers in your block hole list. And then it brings us back to add numbers again. We can also specify what numbers we want to allow. So these are numbers that will always get through. And again, we may want to delete all of the numbers. So if you ever sell the phone, then obviously you'll want to delete all of the all of the numbers that you've had stored in it. Cost and availability. The BT Deco 2600 costs £29.98 pence as of the 1st of May 2016. It's available to rent or buy from BT. You can also buy it online or in the high street from a number of different retailers. The phone does require that you have Hall ID and some phone networks may charge for this service. You don't need to be a BT customer to use this phone. In fact, I filmed this demonstration on a Virgin Media phone line. About Site Airedale. We do hope you found this video helpful. This video has been produced by Site Airedale, a local independent charity supporting sight impaired people living in the Airedale area. You can learn more about our work at www.siteairedale.org.uk. You can visit us on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash siteairedale. If you found this video helpful, please consider making a donation via our website. Also, please like this video and consider subscribing for more.